as my first in the meet and greet. Yeah. And then the next person who came was somebody who cosplayed Kyo. <laughs> Which I was like, um, you know, he's like dead, right? But yeah, they put on the headphones and I was like, hey, Bessie, what's up? Like, I always appreciate people who cosplay Kyo because there's a little part of him that's still alive. I don't really know what he's doing right now. He's being a weird meme guy. Um, but I miss him every day because I never get to collab with him anymore. <laughs> and, you know, what? offline we still, like, hang out and stuff, but, you know. He's a little bit more boring offline, you know. When he's in front of an audience, he's funnier. Just kidding. Well, not really. That was, like, half a joke. Sorry, bestie. It's true, though. <laughs> it's the same for me. I'm also boring offline. Um, but yeah, this Kill Kaneko cosplayer came in. And they were really sweet. And they were just, like, giggling all, you know, all the time. And then she was kind of, like, saying that, like, um... They came... I believe they said that they came, like, all the way from China. Which is fucking insane, guys. Like, that's so fucking far. And then they were saying that they learn English from my stream, to which I said, Oh no, don't do that. I swear a lot. Not a good idea. I recommend someone else. <laughs> and then they were saying that like, there's a lot of alley peeps in China that want to do a meet and greet as well. And I was like, yeah, I really want to see, you know, the alley peeps in other continents and countries. Like, I really, really hope that one day we can get like, opportunities like that. So, please wait for me. I definitely want to do that as well. Yeah. But they were just so nice and kind. And, you know, they did their best to convey all that in like a minute. So, I really appreciated that Kill Cosplayer. Running through the meadow.